are doing, as you can probably tell by the title, um, what I'm going to call the Mummy Challenge, um, quote mark, in quote marks. Uh, this is completely inspired, oh, Mummy are in. This is completely inspired by Stampy's Sister Challenge, if we can turn this down because you're not going to be able to hear. This is inspired by Stampy's sister challenge, but my sister knows how to play Minecraft, so I'm using my mum. Well, it's going to be night time soon, mum, if you don't get going. So if, if you turn around using the left joystick, oh no, that's to move, sorry, right joystick. In fact, I'm just going to get my own control just so I can remind myself how. Yeah, so the right joystick, if you look around and it's X to jump and the left joystick is to walk and if you look around I have enabled bonus chests so very close to where you are there should be a chest with four torches around it if you just keep turning around the walking is probably too far it's not going to be that far oh I think I saw it walk four ah there it is do you see it down if you turn to the right and don't worry if you can't that you not oh You've been scammed again by Minecraft. Because we've only got two torches. Right. If if you look down, it's the same button as to um, look around. Yep, up and down. Um, if you walk forward a bit and angle, if you look in the right direction, you should be able to see the chest and open the chest. And there should be things in there. Oh, press. Right. Okay, right, stop. Press this button, the left, well done, and now you've got an axe and a pickaxe and some wood and some seeds as well, so that's actually going to be very handy, so if you use the left joystick to go up, then every time you have that little crosshair overnight and press the triangle and it'll put it into your inventory. See, well done, Mummy, you're already a Minecrafter. So, you've got to do three challenges. Um, you have to make a house. You have to make a cake and eat it. And then you have to finally mine a diamond. Which is probably not going to be particularly easy. But hopefully we can do it. I believe in you. You're probably, yeah, I think you're actually getting the hang of this quicker than Stampy's sister was, so that's pretty good. Now if you press the circle button, you'll leave the chest. And if you press this button, the, we're playing on PlayStation 4 by the way, so anybody who cares about the controls. Do you want to say hi, Mum? You haven't said anything. Not this one. Okay. I think my mum's a little bit camera shy, so if you press circle, and the button above that button I meant, you press this button to go to your axe and then press this button, the right trigger, and destroy the chest. And now you've got a chest which you can put in your house. You just need to hold. Some blocks take longer to mine than others. Now if you can look at the torch, um, right, this, this is quite a good practice for looking around as well. You can get your um, axe aimed at the torch and then press to leave. And then there's another torch. Usually they have four torches, but Minecraft has scammed me just as it had did in my first Minecraft video. And if you look directly down and delete the grass, that could be useful because you get seeds in grass sometimes. So okay, there wasn't any seeds in that grass. But if you look up and walk towards the torch now. Because there are seeds in grass sometimes and you're gonna need seeds to make a cake later. Anyway, if you look if you look look up and walk around and then try and find somewhere flat for your house, it might be a good thing to find a nice place for your house because that's where you're gonna live. But before you do that you might want to walk towards a tree um and look and look at the tree. Turn around. Oh. Gotta get your crosshairs on your on a tree right if you turn to the right there should be one behind you there you go mum and now delete that trunk 
Minecraft right, because it's a very different mod because it so there is still some tree above you. So if you just mine the whole tree, you'll get plenty of wood. So that's that. Oh, but you are still mining a tree over there. There you go. See, you you're getting wood. You've got so far four logs, which I'll teach you how to craft into planks very soon. And just, I'd say you might want to get about eight logs. So you've got four. So for now, maybe try and get four. Oh, careful, careful. There's a big cave there. Well, in fact, this actually might be a really good place to set up your house because that cave might take you to diamonds later. So, try it. Yeah, well done. You're getting the hang of it. You turn around a bit too far there. Turn to the right. It is really frustrating, but that's part of the challenge. We're a team now, it's not just a challenge for you. I've got to learn how to push you. Like, if you try and eat over there, try and climb up that little hill jump and press forward well done and turn to the left and try and mine that tree because you need a lot wood is a very good start in minecraft well done now so far you've got six wood um right now press the square button and press x Again and again, just keep pressing X. And now go press the left joystick and move to the right one. Left again. And press X. Oh, oh that's okay, don't you don't need to do any more. Right now press circle. Now press the button above the left trigger and turn around all the way. Okay look down a bit because you know the cave you're in yeah you need some of the you need stone so you're actually in a very good place to get some stone without having to dig so if you just delete nine blocks of stone one two that's gravel because gravel is very annoying because gravel falls it's one of the only blocks in minecraft that falls now if you walk forward and go with your dart No, that's gravel, you don't want gravel. You want stone, cobble stone. Walk forward into the hole you just made. You'll still be able to get out. Okay, I've got two. Get your stone, please. Oh, careful, that's a cave. So obviously you've got to turn around. I think that's a cave. So the plain grey bits, so not the bits that look like they've got little rocks inside them. Just look down a little bit. Yeah. And you can see if you move to your left, like move, well done, four, five, and now if you change that hole, six, you move to the right, seven, you only need two more bits, oh, one more bit, three, four, well done, you've got enough stone. Now if you can climb out of that hole, if I'm King Globby, what does that make you? Right, yeah you can you, you can very easily climb out by digging if you want, but you don't have to dig, there is ways out that don't involve digging. Also if you're going to dig, I'd suggest using your sticks. Can you switch your sticks? It doesn't really matter what you use to dig, but digging with your pickaxe will break your pickaxe with that and you need a pickaxe but it's okay because very soon you're going to have your very own um pickaxe of the, a better type of pickaxe just delete it it doesn't matter if you use the pickaxe delete the other one and then you've made your very own staircase and if you jump up well done so now what you want to do is press square again and move over to that, you see that little block with like, again, 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 there, that, that's a crafting table. You need one of them, so press X once, and circle, 
and now triangle. Oh, this is this is not good. I've made a terrible mistake. Right, press just triangle quick, and then move up to the crafting table. Do you recognise the crafting table? And press the triangle. Right, circle. Down. Look down. Right, press the X button. Sorry guys, technical difficulties, we lost a bunch of footage, but my mum now has a sword and a pickaxe, and she has a full set of stone swords, so if you move forwards, oh there's a dog over there, oh, do you see that baby running around? Yeah. That's a zombie, that's a baby zombie. No, they will attack you, and they're actually more dangerous than adult zombies, because they can run faster. Sorry guys, technical difficulties. I've just lost that little bit that I thought I filmed as well. Um, yeah, my mum's on the run in the night. She's got a full set of stone tools. And we can hear zombies. And it's a little bit stressful. Right, you're in a little ditch right now, kind of. It's just, it doesn't matter right now with your sword, you might as well just dig with your sword. Oh, that's a creeper. That's the sound of a creeper hissing to explode behind you. That's a sheep as well. Kill that sheep. You need to go to that sheep, turn around, and just hit it with the sword as many times as possible. Oh, just hit, hit, hit. Just the same button as to break. I hear a skeleton. But if you go backwards and just jump, right. You're going to need to kill that sheep. I know it's a shame. He's innocent. Oh, there's... Well done. Now you get the wool, get the wool. Well done. Okay, that's fine. There is another sheep, but it's the wrong colour. But for now, you might as well... Oh, there, there's another white sheep. You've got to kill it. Right. They're under a tree. Jump. Oh, sorry. Look up. You're underneath leaves, I think, and you can't jump through leaves. Oh, there's a wolf. Be careful. The, the wolf's actually killing the sheep for you. Don't worry, the wolf won't hurt you. Just don't, whatever you do, don't hurt the wolf, because then it will hurt you. You jump out of eight, though. And then the wolf's just gone and kills you a nice sheep. It's okay if you jump. Um, I know, me neither. <laughs> um, right, try turning around. Okay, jump there, you should be able to get up there. Well done. Right, now that you've got... If you press triangle... Got two white wool, so you need one more, and then you've got... You can make yourself a bed. I know it's a shame you've got to kill sheep, but you do have to, so jump up. Can you, yeah, well done. All you need is one more sheep. Uh, that's that groaning sound is a zombie. If you hear a rattling sound, it's a skeleton. And if you hear a sound like a f like, if you hear a sound that sounds a bit like you opening up a, a can of. So, oh, there's a sheep up there. A sound like something you're opening a can of coda, cola. That is... Uh, no, behind you. Oh, there's a creeper looking right at you. He's coming to you. Run. Run. I'm not going to live. Uh, it, it can still find you. Just run. Be careful you don't die from a drop, though. If you run far enough, it will lose sight of you. But in a minute, I'm really scared. We're just going to hear a hiss. Oh. Like you're pretty safe actually here. This is probably a really good idea for my channel, or a really bad idea, depending on how likely I am to get cyberbullied. Like, oh, you're literally playing Minecraft with your mum. Anyway, right, there's a sheep. Turn to the right. It's a zombie. Oh, right, just look down, look down. Oh, now the zombie's treating you like a sheep. Ow, oh, careful. Oh, oh, you're on one heart. You're on one heart. Turn around. Eat the apple, eat the apple. Go to the right, like move above the right trigger. 
twice. Yeah, and now press the left trigger. Just hold it. You'll eat the whole apple in a sec. You can't eat melon seeds. You need to grow melon first. And just wait, and your heart's regenerating, see? I'm amazed that you haven't died yet. I think you actually might see it through this whole night. Right, and now eat the apple, uh, another apple. Beautiful, see? If you just wait there for seconds, your hearts will come back, and if you go back to a sword, you should be able to find a sheep, and then, if you can find somewhere safe, you might even be able to make a bed quick. And I reckon once you've made a bed, that'll be, um, enough to end the episode. Right, if you turn around, and find your way out of this, I think you're back in the ditch, right, oh, oh this is a cave. There's a bat, you don't need to kill the bat, it won't really give you anything. And look, the sun's coming up. But... Only some monsters burn, so if they can find shade, the monsters will survive. Um, but otherwise, zombies and skeletons will burn in the day. And then there's giant spiders, which you haven't seen yet, and those will survive. Oh, just it's okay, just break that dirt. Um, right trigger. And then jump, and there you go. And there's giant spiders, they'll survive, but they won't kill you in the day. And creepers will survive and they will still try and kill you. So usually in the morning you've got to do creeper patrol, but right now it's fine. All you need to do is find another sheep and make a bed. And then just, then you can like chill around there and maybe build a house. Oh, there's a zombie. Run. It's okay, it's okay. It'll burn. If you leave it into the daylight, it will burn. That's the sound of it burning. Okay. Is it burnt? Uh, I think it's still burnt. Anyway, it's okay. Just run. Just don't stop. Mo move. As long as you don't stop, you're fine. Okay. Now you need to find a sheep. That. Did you see that? In fact, you might even be able to move over to that zombie and see. It's dropped some rotten flesh. See, that's the zombie's flesh. Right, you need to find a sheep. Oh, I, there's a wandering trader there. Oh, there's a sheep. That's more important. That zombie is about to go into the daylight, I think. Right, get your sword. Now walk backwards, backwards, backwards. And the zombie's about to come into the sun. Um, Because it's chasing you, and they're really stupid. And there you go. Just... Don't stop moving, it won't be able to catch you. Right, that's it, well done. Right, now up and go to the right. Turn. And there should be a sheep right near, ah, oh, there it is. Right there, by the tree, it's camouflaged on the birch tree. Do you see it? Okay. Yep. <laughs> you get the sword. You don't need the sword, but it's it takes less hits. And once you hit it, it'll start running away. I don't understand why. It's almost like it doesn't want to die. Um, it's gone up the hill. Turn around and jump just to the... Gonna go for that sheep instead. I, don't know. <laughs> I mean, this is making me laugh, so hopefully, it's that means it's good content. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of tricked you into letting people laugh at you <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> right now, go to the sword. Go to the sword. What the button above the left trigger, and now turn. Them. Oh, pickaxe was still. Right now, turn around, the sheep should be right near you. Look down. Oh. It's not going to be flying. You're probably not going to die, because it's my mum playing.
He's run away. He's not as stupid as Minecraft sheep usually are. You actually can. Can I? Yeah, but it won't give you wool. Right. There's an invisible man. <laughs> it's, he's not supposed to be invisible, but uh, somehow he's become invisible. I don't know how. There might have been a witch or something. I mean, you can have the llama, but I don't suggest it. It's not necessary. The only way to do it would be to kill the man, then the llamas would spit at you and he'd take damage and you're already only on two and a half hearts. Right, just walk around. You should find another sheep, hopefully. Hopefully it won't be as clever as that other sheep. Now you're stuck on the leaves again. Oh, to the left. It's okay. I'm like. Oh, it turned to the left again. No, you just. Oh no, I thought I saw one. Oh look, the man's reappeared. I have absolutely no idea how he turned invisible. Oh, right. I don't know where these sheep are. They that's a flower. You can pick the flower if you'd like. Just ha you just have to look at the flower and press the leaf. The right trigger. A little black box should appear around the flower. There you go. And now if you walk into the flower you pick it up. But I think we should probably be more worried about getting a bed than picking flowers because you don't want another night, do you? No. That wasn't very nice, was it? This is one of the, my, my favourite videos to record I've had in a long time. <laughs> the right joystick. Yeah, or not? You just walk forwards from there. Well done. If you just walk, you should find another sheep. Oh, I heard a bar. Did you hear that bar? I did. Up there. No, that's not a sheep. That's a log. I thought it was a sheep. There's a wall. You're under leaves. If it, if you can't jump, you're probably under leaves. Oh, I see a sheep. I see his feet. Right, walk, go right, right. Oh, or if you can look up, you might be able to. Right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't panic. Don't panic. It's not going to move too far. Right, so yeah, that, that's that's fair. Right, if you look right, it's, it's to the right. It's behind the tree. <laughs> there, there's two sheep, so you'll have a spare piece of wood. You look at them and then press the leaf. Yeah, well done. Oh, I remember I used to... See? Right. Now, just for, when I go up, you need to go to where the wolf is, and because otherwise you won't collect the wool. Then you need to make a bed. Right. You've got it. I heard it plop into your inventory. Right, and now get your crafting table back out. Inventory. No, that's oak plank. And now go to that crafting table. Oh, there's a leaf. There we go. Now press X on that. Yeah. Move down to the rotten flesh. Probably because that's 
probably don't know what to do, but I'm just going to write as X. And then move the one pressure up and bring them to reason if you want to. There, X. Because you can feed bolts with that, so then after later you can use that. And press circle. And move, press the button above the left trigger one time. Press the left trigger one time. Well done. Now move over to the bed. And press X. And look what you're holding. A miniature bed. And now you need 20 more of them because look how small it is. It's going to need a couple more to fit you. I'm kidding, Mum. You only need one bed. Press circle. You might delete the crafting table. And then we can end the, episode, the video. This episode one, guys. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> because my mum still needs to make a house, bake a cake, and mine a bunny. Don't worry. This in the Stampy challenge, the sister one that Stampy did, she didn't do it on the first episode. I think she made her house on the second one. So that's what we're aiming to do. Anyway, it's becoming night, so we'll start the second video with the most entertaining part: watching my mum try and survive the night. <laughs> Don't worry, you've got a bed so you can sleep through. Anyway, that's all. We'll see you next time on the King Lobby channel. Bye.